Okay, so in this video, if you've been following the playlist, it's going to be all about DNS. So I'm, I'm going to update my DHCP pool so that each um, each PC gets a, a DH, DNS address as well so they can access the internet. So let's just go back to um, our pool. It was VD. And then I'm just going to type DNS server 192.168.0.3. Okay, so if I enter this, I'm actually done on the router now, so I'm going to um, save the configuration. Running. Tap key to auto complete. Press copy running config to start up config. Press the tab key up. And then that saves it. So if we power the router off, and it will automatically um, boot up with those the settings that we've completed. So here on the PCs, if you notice, we've not got not got a DNS server um, here, so we've got a problem with those PCs. So I'll go back to static and then DHCP again. And notice how it's giving it a DNS address. Okay, so that's how it works in the in the real world as well. So let's go back on here. Go to the server. I want to give the server address um, a static address 192.168.0.3, which so because that is the DNS server um, and the router is the the default gateway is the router, so let's put that in there as well. 192.168.0.1 Okay. So what I want to do on the server, so I've given it, give it its IP address. I want to go to services, HTTP is turned on. I want to go to DNS, I turn DNS on, I'm going to give it a name. It's going to be um, www.vd.com. It's going to be an A record, so I'm going to point it at an IP address. Um, common things are C names these days, which point at, um, or a C record, which gives that option C name, which points it at a cloud um, service. Um, so the address was 192.168.0.3 of the server. server. Oops. Anything that comes uh, to connect to this now via DNS will we'll, we'll be connecting through that server address. Okay. So let's just check it out on one of these PCs. Go to the browser. Yeah. So www.vd.com. There we've got a website. That's all. That's the web page from the server, which is if we look on here. When we go to edit the index file, you'll notice that um, this is the HTML file that it's pulling through, so it's all by default. So let's just change some of this stuff. Um, let's just call it virtual distribution. Change the color to green, whatever you want to change it to. And then Let's just change this to welcome to my wonderful site. Save that. Overwrite it. Let's try it again. So www.vd.com. There we are. Oops, spelled the distribution wrong, put an R in there, but it says welcome to wonderful site. So that's DNS configured. We've got web page access, we've got web server. We are good to go. In the next video, we're just going to clear up some other finer details of this project.